This animation discusses the mechanisms of action of cybutramine in the hypothalamus. The presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron are separated by the synaptic cleft. Serotonin, a monoamine, also known as 5-hydroxytryptamine, or 5-HT, is one of the neurotransmitters which is involved in the feeling of satiety or fullness during a meal. This neurotransmitter is synthesized by presynaptic neurons. Norepinephrine, another monoamine, is also synthesized by presynaptic neurons. It too is involved in the feeling of satiety. Under normal circumstances, monoamines are released by the presynaptic neuron. Some are taken up by the postsynaptic neuron, and some are reuptaken by the presynaptic neuron and stored in granules that release their contents into the cleft between pre- and postsynaptic nerves. Most of the monoamines released into the synaptic cleft are taken back up by the presynaptic nerve, where they are either degraded or repackaged into new granules. A small portion of released monoamines bind to postsynaptic receptors, which transmit a signal from one nerve to the next. In the hypothalamus, cybutramine enhances satiation by blocking the reuptake of monoamine neurotransmitters, mainly serotonin and norepinephrine, and, to a lesser extent, dopamine. Note that cybutramine does not override the normal physiologic control, release, and reuptake of other neurotransmitters. By blocking the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine, these neurotransmitters stay in the synaptic cleft for a longer period of time. Cybutramine's action is predicted to be restricted to monoamine reuptake inhibition, since it shows negligible affinity for a wide range of neurotransmitter receptors. The higher concentration of serotonin and norepinephrine in the synaptic cleft increases the signal transmitted to the postsynaptic nerve. This results in an increased stimulation of the postsynaptic nerve. The net effect of cybutramine is that it enhances satiation, or the feeling of fullness during a meal. Enhanced satiety is associated with decreased food intake and can promote weight loss.